What's up, guys? I'm Lonnie, and I'm watching Homeschool 24/7. And today, we're, this is another another episode of I don't even know. I still hear a little bit, but that's okay. Anyways, let's get to it. <laughs> My dad's back. I'm back did it again, again, guys. I am now a part of this show. Yes. For the better. Yeah, last episode we voted out John Walker. Yeah, he's gone now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is your no cap quick recap of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode five. Five, five episodes in. Show's almost over. Mm -hmm. Show's almost over. We got. We got uh, there's six episodes, right? Yeah, so let me see. We did five. You know, six episodes. So you minus the five. And you carry over the one. And how many is left now? Huh? One? Ah. <laughs> one left. You okay. confused me. <laughs> you were really confused. <laughs> You're like... Is he really struggling with this simple math? <laughs> I was just keeping you on your toes, that's all. Okay, you, all right. you really confused me. I got you. Anyways, okay. the episode starts off with, with like, John Walker. Our favorite sus, Captain America. Agent Captain America. Yeah, he's running away from the crime scene. Yeah. And he's running, what is he running into? Like. Yeah, I think it's a warehouse, right? And he sits there and... He's just sad that his friend battle star Lamar, right? Yeah, Lamar's Lamar's gone, man, and uh, he's feeling it. He probably <sighs> regrets <sighs> reacting the way he did. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Snaps and just gets up. Okay, back to work. You know. It's uh -huh. like, whoa, kind of crazy. Huh? <laughs> and yeah, and then Bucky and Sam come to meet him. Like, hey, bro, you messed up. Yeah, you should have not done that. You should not have done that. And the sad thing was that that guy didn't even kill Lamar. They basically tell him, you know, we don't want anybody else to get hurt. Yes. Give us the shield. And he has something with that shield, you know? Like, no, he, he's in love he with just, it. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, you want my shield, eh? Well, they take it. Yeah, and then they just start <laughs> scrapping, you know? Yeah, they start fighting. Punches and kicks are thrown and... Jetpack. <laughs> Jetpack fighting and... Metal arm. You know, uh, Bucky gets a little bit beat up in this one, too. I right? know. I well, mean... Well, he's a super soldier now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So, it was a good fight. Um, mm -hmm, cool. You know, uh, here we got you know, Sam trying to pull the shield away mm -hmm. with his wings. Give but it's not working, man. Yeah. John Walker is too strong now. Yeah, he's like, And then he pins him to the ground. I am... Or no, I think that was a... Oh, yeah, I am Captain America. Yeah, he yells that to him while he's on top of him. and Yeah. He's like, I'm going to tear your wings off. And he did what he said. Yeah, and there he's goes your wings. His word. There goes Falcon. No more wings. He just... There's his superpower. Mm -hmm. Womp womp. Right, and then uh, he's about to give him the finishing blow, just like he, he did, did earlier. He did to the fanboy. Yeah, look how crazy he looks. Ooh. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> and then Bucky, your boy Bucky, your boy, saves the day. Knocks him off. They they keep on fighting. They try to take his shield away from him. Yep. And then um, he they break his arm. Yeah, pulling the shield out of his hand. I know. I think he uses his jetpack too. Like he's like activates yeah, like it to help him, him to help right. him rip off the shield. Oh yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, breaks his arm. He goes down, and then uh, Bucky picks him up, and he like swings him in the air, and Sam jumps up with the shield and slams right into oh, him. Oh gosh, and yeah, they all cool. like just fall down. Yeah, they all hit the ground, and uh, they take a shield. They take a shield. Bucky picks it up and throws it next to Sam. Like take it, take it already. You know. And uh, then they go back to the base, mm -hmm. and we see our old friend, Joaquin. Our he guy. hasn't been in a couple episodes. No, he hasn't been there, but here he's back. Uh, yeah, and then Joaquin picks up the bag, and he's like, what happened to these? 
Sam's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he doesn't say anything, but he's like... But that's what he's thinking. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Right <laughs> and then he walks away, he takes the shield with him. Well, because now they can't do anything now. Mm. Now the, the higher-ups are taking over because, you know, John Walker went crazy. and. Joaquin's like, hey, you want these? Or, like, you need these or something? And then Sam says, keep them. Joaquin might be the next Falcon. You heard it here first. <laughs> and Falcon, or no, Sam might be the next Captain America. Oh, well, definitely. he is. Yeah, he, he will. is. He will. He will. So then, our, you know, John Walker, he's he's dressed up in full uniform. He goes mm -hmm. to the to the court to have his hearing. And you're not you're not the Captain America anymore. Exactly. No more Captain America for you. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously he's upset. He's mad. He's like, I am Captain America. Yeah, he just he's telling them, I did everything you trained me to do. Uh-huh. You then, built me? Oh. Yeah, he said, you built me. Man, when he says, you built me, and then he's just like, that's the look he gives him, too. He's just like, and he's right. You know, they, yeah. built, they did build him. They did train him. Yeah. You know, so... Anyways, they took all that away from him, and uh, he's in the hallway, sitting there with his, with his wife. And then someone walks up, a new character of the show. Uh huh. I forgot her name. Um. Her name started with Contessa. Contessa. That's her. I think it was like Contessa, <laughs> Valentina, Francesca, uh, Mayonesa with a big cabeza, <laughs> driving in her Tesla. That might be loud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she had a pretty uh, cool name, um, but she basically tells him, you know. Uh, I would have killed that guy. And she, she knows everything about him, remember? I know, that's sus. I know you took this serum. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know about that, and um, she says also like, I know you don't have the shield. Yep. So like, she tells him, "Don't worry about this." Stuff. Yeah, uh, it's it's amazing. She knows everything. She's kind of like a like a Nick Fury. Oh, well, basically. Right. And your your number one best decision you'll ever make is when I call you, you pick up the phone. Mhm. Mm yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see what she has planned for him. Right. Mm -hmm. Another imposter. Mm-hmm. And then, uh... Then, uh, they cut to Carly and the Flag Smashers. They're also mad that, they like, the GRC isn't sending them any more supplies, right? Yeah, they're not giving them any more aid. Uh-huh. Yep, so she's mad. Um, and this is where she goes, like, full bad guy mode yeah. now. You know, try to keep them all where they're at, but it's not working so far, and now it's time to go full evil mode mm -hmm. so that's where they're at and then um zemo's at sokovia mm -hmm. sokovia and that that was the place where in age of ultron they were fighting right yep and then he lifted up sokovia and dropped uh, it back down yeah and then um because his, like his family was there and that's how they died by mm -hmm. that battle mm -hmm. fight yeah and then bucky comes yeah bucky shows up well he knew he would be there yeah he kind of says oh it took you long enough mm -hmm. yeah i thought you would be here sooner yeah then zima say like i decided i'm not gonna kill you mm -hmm. yeah he tells him that and uh he basically tells him that carly there's only one way to stop carly now yeah, is the killer? Yeah, he tells you you're going to have to take her out. Oh, gosh. Because he's still hoping there's a little bit of Winter Soldier in him. Mm -hmm. Well, he'll do what he needs to do to, to complete the mission. Yeah. full Winter Soldier mode. Yeah, and Bucky tells him, we're going to do things our way. And he pulls a gun on Zemo. Oh, no, Zemo. Goodbye, Zemo. Nice knowing you. No, he doesn't really do that. Yeah. He kind of tricks him like he was. Mm -hmm. there's, there's and Zemo like was no ready, words. though. He was going to let him. Yeah, he's like... He's like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready to die. And um, he drops the bullets. There's no bullets in the gun. He drops them because 
no, he's not gonna be cool to see him out. He's our favorite in this show. Yeah, we're gonna need him later. Yeah. Like, I, I thought they... Well, I don't know why I thought they were actually gonna, like, shoot him. Because, I don't know. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't. And then the Dorma Logic come to get him. Yep, time to turn him over. And uh, Dorma Logic, A.O. tells Bucky, hey man, we're going to take him to the, the raft. Yeah. This is where he's going to spend the rest of his days. And if like you guys it. remember... This is where they put like Ant-Man and Hawkeye, right? Hawkeye and, was like, there. Most of them. Even Sam was in there, mm -hmm. too, locked up for a little bit. From Civil War. Yeah. It's basically a prison in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Pretty crazy. All the, I guess this is where all the worst bad guys go. And then didn't, um, Bucky was like, I need a favor. Yeah, something. he tells Ao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a favor. Uh, later we find out what that favor was. Yes. We'll get back to that a mm -hmm. little bit later. Soon, yeah, later. And then, um... Sam goes to Isaiah, Isaiah Bradley's house to talk to him. Yeah, he talks to his grandson first. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, I'm here to talk to your grandpa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be over there, though, to check on him. And he lets him go because, you know, he, they've already met him. So mm -hmm. he goes in, uh, to his house and they start talking. Yeah, and then it was like about how um, these guys, who are they? Well, they, like, got captured his buddies, like, his partners. Well, yeah, they were all, like, experimented on. They mm -hmm. were all, there was a super soldier program going on, experimental super soldier serum. Mm -hmm. So they sent them on missions, and his squad got caught. Yeah. Then his squad got caught, and Isaiah went to go save him. Yeah, he went to go save them because they were going to go blow up the whole... Uh, camp to try to hide the ev or get rid of the evidence. Yeah. To get rid of the evidence that there was uh, super soldiers, and uh, he said, "Nope, those are my guys. I'm gonna go save them." You ain't gonna do that. Yeah. So he goes to rescue them, and when he gets back, he gets in trouble for it. And they start doing experiments on him. They basically jail him for like 30 years. Oh and the friends that he saved or his squad that he saved they end up dying anyway because of the side effects of this uh, serum yeah the nurse sent fake reports of like Isaiah Bradley dying yeah and obviously they faked his death that way he can get out of there mm -hmm. and uh, now he's been leaving living in secret uh, in this house and uh, Sam's telling him hey man we need to tell everybody you know tell everybody mm -hmm. your story and you know Bradley doesn't want to he'd rather stay hidden and uh you know just telling him you know i don't know why you would want to be captain america yeah. after how they treat us and uh you know so poor sam now is even more torn about being mm -hmm. captain america and how you, you feel bad for bradley he had yeah. he went through a lot so um all right guys i think i need a tiktok break what do you think, Dad? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Roll the clip. What's going on in that cyborg brain of yours? You don't want to know. Oh, yeah. I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. There you go. Well, that was a nice TikTok break. And now, um, Sam's at the boat. At the they find out that the ship, they can't sell it. They can't sell the boat. Yeah, because it's like too broken. So he decides to call all the friends and neighbors that they have. Because they've yeah, lived there all their right. lives. So they all pretty much owe favors to his family. Everybody brings parts and, you know. Stuff to fix it. Yeah, to fix the boat. Um there's like this huge engine on the back of the truck that they're going to use. And, and Tim's like, how are you going to get that off? Yeah. And then Bucky comes in. He's like, I got this, guys. Because <laughs> he's a super soldier, so he lifts it up. Yeah, puts it down. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah. And then this was the favor. The, like, the suitcase or whatever. They don't open it yet, but 
Uh, Bucky sees what they're doing, so... Helps. Yeah, he decides to ask him, hey, do you guys want some help? Um, this part was cool. Mm -hmm. He fixes this part, and Sam asks him, why didn't you use your metal arm? And he was like, well, I don't think of it right away, because I'm right-handed. <laughs> Right yeah, he's right handed, so it's kind of funny to see that. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he meets his sister. Oh, no gosh, yeah. And he flirts with her a little bit. Yeah, he's like, Hi, I'm Bucky. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'm doing very great. Do you want to take me out on a date? <laughs> she doesn't really say that. <laughs> I know. But, you know, they just say hi to each other, and right away Sam's like, I don't like that. <laughs> Knock that off. He does some super strength things where he pulls things with one arm and, you know. Yeah, because, yeah, he's a super soldier. Yeah, he's a lot of help. Thank and you. Then, uh, uh, and then John Walker goes to um, Lamar's family to say what happened. Or they already knew he was dead, but just say that, like, who killed him. Yeah, he's just trying to comfort them. You know, they're all sad. So. That was sad. I'm sorry, the Morris family, Bowser's family, same thing. <laughs> I know. And then, um, Sharon Carter, I knew that. Sharon Carter is calling Bullrock because he's in jail, right? And then, like, letting him free so he could go help the Flag Smashers. Yeah, she's calling in another favor, and then we find out that I guess she's the one that's been hiring him all this time. Yeah. Like even in the beginning of the sh of the show where they were kidnapping that guy in the plane. Oh yeah, and they're doing. She's the one that did that. Yeah. She's the one that hired him, so she's hiring him again, and of course he wants to do it. She's going to pay him more money, and he has a chance now to get revenge on Sam. On Sam. The Falcon. So Sharon is super sus. She she has to be the power broker. Yeah. But. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's episode five, so we'll, we should find out next episode. Yeah, because it's the last episode. Yep. And then, oh yeah, so Bucky slept over. How does, yeah. He was sleeping on the couch, and then he saw the kids, or, yeah, the kids from Sarah, like, playing with the shield. Yeah, they're Sam's nephews. Mm-hmm. Sam ne nephews, playing with the shield. Yeah, they're doing a little fight scene. Uh, he looks like he's about to punch him in the face. I know. You gotta like, hold up that shield better. <laughs> I know, like. <laughs> but but you said know, he's like. What? You know, he, he tells him, "Hey," and then they put the shield down and they run like, away. Hurry, hurry. But they were just having fun with it. Yeah. You know? So that was a cool part. And then, uh, they start working out. You know, they start throwing the shield back and forth to mm -hmm. each other. They're practicing it. Practicing with it. it. Um, trees. Yeah. He tells them. Um, that the shield was like part of his family. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, that's why he gave him such a hard time for retiring the shield. You should have not done that. Yeah. You know, he didn't know the, what, um, Sam was struggling with, mm -hmm. you know, the legacy of the shield and, you know, what that would mean for him being black and having the shield and, yeah trying to be the next Captain America and you know and now he's even more conflicted even after talking with Isaiah Bradley mm -hmm. he asked Bucky if he's still having nightmares yeah and he's like yes mm -hmm. definitely you gotta make them feel happy yeah you gotta you gotta there's some people that you could bring closure to mm -hmm. you can't just make amends with them mm -hmm. um like tell that the guy from this the first episode right tell the guy um like what really happened like how your son died yeah that would be bringing closure to someone mm -hmm. so that would probably help him to uh, stop having nightmares about that yeah yeah and then they're still working on the boat and then, um... Well, they're just finishing it up, and they're about to yeah. paint over the names. Mm hmm And then Sarah's, like, says, I don't want to sell this yeah. anymore. Yeah, I don't want to sell the boat. Mm hmm and Now we got it all fixed up. Yeah. 
you know, that she probably wants to keep it in the family because it's been in their family forever. And then Bucky, or no, Sam, is training with the shield. Yeah. Throwing it, flipping, catching it. Yeah, he looks like a gymnast. I know. Doing push-ups. Did like a million push-ups. Sprinting. <laughs> Do you think you could beat him in a race? I seen how fast you could run in Chantlas. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if you train hard. Comment yeah. down below. Do you think Gao will win in a race with Sam? Or do you think Sam will win in a race? I think it's Sam, but don't tell him. What? I didn't say nothing. No, I heard. <laughs> and oh, that's a cool scene. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's getting really good at it. He's made up his mind. He's right. like, hey, man. I'm going to be the next Captain America. Yep, he's ready. He's ready. He's training. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time to take up the mantle. He's better than John Walker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way better. And then um, Carly or Borat comes to bring Carly, like, some guns and stuff. Some weapons. Some, yeah, right there. Yeah, we see some guns and grenades and, you know, they're getting ready to attack the, the GRC. Mm -hmm. Right, because they're about to vote on the Patch Act, which is, I guess, what will put every everyone back where they came from. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they're not happy about that. So, Barak is just like, wait, I'm not here for your cause. Yeah. I'm here to kill Sam. Mm -hmm. And then um, Cardi is like, you'll get your chance. Slow down, bro. We'll get there. <laughs> And then she activates all the flag smashers on the... Apparently there's some kind of flag smashing app that you could just download. Maybe I'll download it. Yeah, maybe we can know where they're at all the time. And uh, activates all these random flag smashers. Uh, they all know it's time. It's go time. Go time. And, uh, and then this is the... GRC place. Yep. And then these flag smashers do something to the place, make the lights red, and like turn everything. Yeah, off. they like cut the power, and the screens are all glitching, and they're like, "Oh shoot, what's going on?" <laughs> and little do they know that they're under attack. Oh no. Uh oh. You know they're basically gonna stop them from doing this vote, and uh, at the same time, Joaquin calls Sam. And yeah. tells him, hey man, uh, there's this signal that's coming from New York. It's the same signal that we've seen in these other parts of the world where the Flag Smashers have been. Mm -hmm. And Sam's watching TV and he sees that there's this GRC vote about to yeah. happen. So right away he knows already. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'll do the rest or something. I'll take it from here. Yeah, I'll take it from here. And what does he pull out? He pulls out the suitcase. Yeah. Finally get to see what's in it. He activates the pin. I wonder yes. what his pin number was. 24-7. Yeah. Hmm. Three-digit number. Three-digit number, okay. Two, four, seven, all right. I like that. I thought it was going to be something like one, two, three, four. <laughs> so he punches in the right code. Then he opens it. And it opens. Then we get to see what's inside. And then the show ends. And then they roll the credits on us. Yep. Leave us on this cliffhanger. Man. But we do have a little picture Crazy. of what it could look like from the comics. Oh. That's pretty cool. What if it actually looks exactly like that? Uh, you know, it might have. It might be inspired by that. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm disappointed about in this episode? Hmm. Zemo didn't meet the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, man. I'm telling you, like, if you want to see some cool storytelling <laughs> like that, you're going to have to be a writer for Marvel. <laughs> you know, that's the only way that's going to happen. Oh, my gosh. That, that is a bummer. You know, but, yeah, yeah, he got busted. The Dora Milaje's took him. He's mm -hmm. going to the raft. I don't think there's any turtles on the raft. Basically, how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine, but you just that can't get cool. into it because they would never understand. <laughs> but, uh, 
Anyways, I'm not crying. <laughs> I just wanted to see, you know, the Ninja Turtles. That would have been cool. <laughs> I agree. Good to see them. That's a good. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. And but, then you know, at least you know, hey, this is cool. possibly what the suit's gonna look like, mm-hmm. right? Uh, what if it's a Ninja Turtle suit? Okay, enough with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> They're not gonna be in this show. Okay. <laughs> I like I like where you're going with this. You're gonna have to write your own story on that. <laughs> you're gonna have to draw a picture of it and send it in. I yeah. just really like Ninja Turtles. Hey, I do too, man. That's why you like them. <laughs> you like Ninja Turtles. But, oh um, so this was the end of the episode. Um, but they did have a cool little end credit scene. Credit scene time. End credit scene time, and it was none other than John Walker. Building his shield. Going ham on some metal. Oh, yeah. He was... Look at him. Like, he, he's working hard. I've never seen him so motivated. No. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going hard. He's like, I am not done being Captain America. No way. And he's just going crazy. Look Building at that thing. Shield. He's melting some of his metals that he got from the military. Oh, yeah. And he's, like, using those to shape, help put his shield together. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So he's not done. He's making his own shield. He's gonna. Uh, it's probably not gonna hold up. What if it's like small? <laughs> <laughs> Just. No, oh, it's like he's, it's like gonna fall apart after the first I throw. Know. <sighs> he's like. And then he's he just in a stance and it just falls apart. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Well, we'll see. We'll see in the next episode. Mm-hmm. What All if right. it's actually big? Too big? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I can't hold this thing. Nah, he knows what he's doing. He, he he probably watched a few YouTube videos. Oh my gosh. Just to get it right, you know? How to build the Captain America shield. Yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, that was it for this episode. Mm-hmm. That was, it was it for pretty this exciting. Um, I think we're going to throw it back um dad what are you doing <laughs> you have stormbreaker i have the consonants all right everybody this is my time to go peace i'll let lonnie do his thing here we go <laughs> Anyways, thank you. You know, I don't need this right now. It's okay. It's part of your outro. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for your no cap recap. And I hope you guys enjoyed. My favorite part was... I actually don't know. You go first while I think about it. Uh, my favorite part was definitely when Bucky picked up john walker and smacked him into the shield that sam was holding yeah that was cool yeah my favorite part is also that like the fight scene when they go to meet him comment down below what was your favorite part hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace